Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for the big reveal. Okay, everybody. I've spoken about it. I've hinted about it. Well, it's going to be unveiled today. We're going to do the unboxing of my Rosin Tech. That's right. My Rosin Tech. Rosin Tech Big Smash. Here it is. Okay. By the way, just so you know what I'm doing, I'm following along on my iPad because I really don't know much about it, and I want to try to help you guys understand what's here. First of all, I bought it because it was plug-and-play. Plug-and-play, man. I mean, this thing, supposedly, right out of this box, is going to be ready to go. So let's take a look at what we got here. First, you're going to have your Rosin Tech owner's manual. You want to look at that, okay? Now, I bought a couple extra items with it. I bought some extra parchment, a lot of it. I bought some gloves, okay? But let's look at what they say. Well, actually, why don't we let everybody see the unit? Let's, how do we do this? A foam has to be peeled away. Let's peel the foam away. Gently. Remember, this is act carefully for shipping. Okay? Premium filter bags. I'm just putting all these little things aside before I start doing anything here with you all. There's a lot of stuff to put aside here. Wow. Okay. Comes nicely wrapped. Remember, you're talking something that's going to be shipped cross country or internationally. Here it is. This is my Rosin Tech <laughs> Nug Smasher. This thing is heavy. My son in law had to come, oh my goodness, and put it up here. I wouldn't be able to move it. There's no way I'd be able to touch it and move it. Okay? So, what you want to do here is you want to understand that now that you have a tool like this, you can basically make any kind of material you want. You have full pressure control. I bought it because it was a higher-end model. This is not a starting model, okay? This is called the Big Smash. Now, I'm not going to turn it on right now, but I'm going to kind of get used to it. Weighs about 60 pounds. Four tons of pressure is why I bought it. And dual heated six by two plates. So what you're getting is a wide surface area, that's what you want, and you're getting the pressure that you need also, because let's face it, I'm a big concentrate fan. Wouldn't it be nice for me to be able to make my own dab materials here in the house? Okay, so features. And this is right off the Rosin Tech website of this product. Four tons of pressure, six inch by two inch solid aluminum dual heating plates, eating heat, even heat distribution because the microprocessor uses a precision temperature gauge. And here's what you have, zero to 415 degrees. It's a total digital control, a digital automatic timer. You can see here where the numbers will come in digital format. It's a standard one, it's a household current. You plug it in. 800 watts, 10 amps. And I will say, I'm really excited to use this. More so uh, than I can even talk about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now put website away. And let's look at it here. Step one, getting started. Follow this step-by-step -step guide, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Once you plugged in the press and flipped on the power, both screens will light up and the plates will begin heating. I don't know if I want to do that right now. The digital top controller will be the heating plate as well as timer for length of pressing. The digital controller at the bottom will only control the bottom heating plate. And there's probably a reason for that, and I'm going to learn about that. And then on set, you hit the set button once, you're in an edit mode, and that allows you to hit temperature control. Step three is up or down the arrows to where you want it to be. And then make sure that you 
press the set button to change it. Wow, once you found your desired temperature, press the set button until you return back to normal mode. And to start the timer, press the timer button on the panel. Let's see, there's a set button over here. There's a timer button over there. You think Senior Stone Room can do this? I don't know. I'm scared already. There is a button. Okay. And then once you've found your desired time, press the set button until you return back to... Now you set the time. Set the temperature on the bottom heat plate. Use the right control panel. Okay? And follow the same steps. I see an up and down control panel. Not a right and left control panel. Hold on. Make sure I'm looking at the same thing here. I'm reading it wrong. Okay. I mean, I have to say, hold the step button and hold it again. Okay, that's turning it on. Okay, fellas, I've turned it on. Temperature in the bottom plate, heat plate up. Well, what I haven't talked about is what you have to do. Is you have to take Special Micron filter bags and special Rosin Tech parchment and use that. I'm going to watch the video on how to use this item, okay? I might even call Rosin Tech and get a technician on the line to help me through this. But, but, forgetting how overwhelmingly new this is to me, okay? And it is new to me. Forgetting about that. You know what? This is one cool puppy. I mean, there are going to be a few items here that I have to do to get it working. I'm going to have to get this plugged in back there. There are a couple plugs to plug in. Let me turn it around and let everybody see what I'm talking about. Okay. I wonder... Ah, see? The plates rise up like that. When you push the handle down, you see that? Plates are rising up with the handle down. The reason I'm doing it is I want to pull these cords through. They didn't tell me what to do with these cords. It looks like you're going to connect one to the upper plate and one to the lower plate is what they do. But I don't want to do it without talking to somebody. Very cool. And that's the lowering. Okay. So design-wise, it is simple. Check it out. I think I figured the whole thing out that easily. Ready? You're going to do this, which is going to bring... I mean, it sounds like old-fashioned technology, right? The jack type of thing. You're going to bring your weed in here, in a little bag. And then you're going to put the pressed paper on it, both sides. And it's going to be at whatever temperature you need it to be at. And there's a specific ratio and a format for this that people use. I've, I've seen it, but I haven't paid a lot of attention to it. Now I'm going to follow up and find out what the temperatures are and what I'm going to get out of it. And I might even be making rosin tonight. We're going to see. It's that simple. Because this thing right here, once it connects with the top plate, once it gets up there, you see that? Once it gets up there, that's the key. Once it's there, you're going to get four tons pressure and heat and then when it's done all you do is turn this knob and it hydraulically lowers that is really cool i mean this is about as automatic as you can get i'm totally impressed what is in this package i will say what i'm not impressed with i don't see unless i, I unless they're in the box i don't see good instructions Everything on the internet now. You know what I mean? So what they want us to do, getting started, follow the setup guide to set your temperature and length of press. It did not say assemble it. So it does say shoot an email to support at Rosin Tech Products, which I'm going to do. I'm also going to go get the video uh, from YouTube and see how other people have done it. What I'm interested in in finding out, frankly, is what exactly do I have to do? Now, I get, I get it, I get it. What you have to do with the press, you know, with the heating and thing like that. 
But what I don't get is the assembly part. I'm a little frightened. I see two screws here also. What are these screws for? There's no instructions on that. Um, and let me turn it back around so everybody can see what I'm talking about. And I'm sorry, it's just my nature. You know, one of these goes there and one of these goes there, but which one goes where? You know what I'm saying? So, does it say anywhere? Nope, it doesn't say anywhere. But it does have a serial number on it. I did buy it directly from them. So we're gonna find out. I think the important thing for this video is for everybody to not be afraid, okay? First of all, you don't have to spend as much money as I did and buy this one. You can buy smaller ones. There's a variety of sizes they have. And there are tons of companies. All right, let's just face it. This is what I chose. Don't be afraid of it. What I'm trying to do, trying to do, is become vertically integrated. I'm not growing, but I would like to cut my concentrate price down if possible. You know, I'm having a hard time with that in my head lately. Um, and I think this could be the way to do it. My standards are very high for concentrate. Many of you know that. That's why I felt like vertical integration was the way to go, because it's like anything else. If you can control what goes in, you're controlling what comes out. And that's what I intend to do. So this has been the real senior stoner. With the unboxing, we're not talking anything else but here, we did an unboxing and our first look at our Rosin Tech Nug Smasher. Okay, everybody. The, excuse me, the Rosin Tech Big Smash, it's called. The Rosin Tech Big Smash. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Shoot me some comments. I respond to everything. Have a great day, everybody. Cheers.